for self-improvement, crafts and fitness games Go ahead and turn on YouTube And watch chat What's up everybody, it's Jack here for yet another update. This time it's gonna be my YouTube channel goals for the year 2024. And I say YouTube channel, but it's more than that. It's more like trying to, you know, branch out and hopefully build this into something that's, you know, a little bit more fun. <laughs> so I have a list of goals that I have set for each month and I'm gonna go through them as I said in my New Year's goals video. So I'm pulling it up here for January. I want to change the aspect ratio of my videos to actual 4K rather than UHD. I've actually gotten a complaint about it since a lot of YouTube videos are in UHD. UHD is like 380, 40 pixels, something like that like 3,840 pixels. Um, so, you know, it's like a lot of monitor size. However, these ultra wide monitors, more and more popular are in true 4K format, which is like 4,096 4, pixels, I believe. Um, but basically what I'm saying is like, when you watch the videos, you get these ugly like side black bars on watching on a true 4K monitor. And since that's not going to be the format that most people are going to be buying their monitors in and watching it on TVs, I figured, hey, I might as well switch to the true 4K format to appease these people. So that's one thing that's been requested. And that's one thing I'm going to do. And if people start requesting it to go back to the UHD, then I'll just re-render my videos like that. It would be cool if you two had the option to switch between these two different formats, but you know, well, well, might as well just remove the dislike button again. Why well, put new features in when you can just take them away? Another thing I want to do in January is to create a new graphics for my calorie analytics at the end of the video. Uh, so recently I started using Excel for like all my video inputs. Um, and with Excel, I can do create formulas to calculate like, hey, I burned this amount of calories total, this amount of calories per minute, and kind of assign a burn rate to it. And I've just kind of been writing them out in like a text field within my videos, um, basic, but kind of ugly. So I want to create a new graphics overlay for my videos and have it kind of everything spelt out there, nice and beautiful hopefully to start improving the looks of these videos and make them look more professional. After that, in February, I wanna create a new Jack Jenkins email address for you know receiving specific emails from you guys as something requested in the comments. And I also wanna get a jackjenkins.com t-shirt. I'm actually buying that today, but hopefully start um, getting it printed and wearing it now. So that way it can be like, hey, just go to jackjenkins.com, you know, watch my videos, go to the website, see more stuff, you know, to hopefully try and like promote more like data and just flow to the website. Cause I'm hopefully trying to build that out, you know, make everything nice and have everything in one place. Um, next up, as I want to in March, is I want to add a backlog of video items to the blog. Right now, every month I've been adding, or every week I've been adding three of my backlog videos to the blog. Um, hopefully, by then I'm going to finish it all out, and then I can start, you know, building a month log backlog for the YouTube channel. And then that way, you know, if I go on vacation or something, or if I get sick, I don't have to worry about trying to rush and create like a bad video like I've been doing for like the last year to meet some arbitrary goal. You know, I'm gonna have like a nice steam of content, you know, like uh, budget fitness games or budget game reviews or something like that, or like all these app reviews, you know, have a nice backlog of these items that I can just trickle out over time if I ever get sick or injured or go on vacation or something like that. Instead of just recording like, oh, I'm gonna take a quiz to see if I'm politically corrupt or something like that, <laughs> like I've been doing last year. Next up in April is I want to create a TikTok account and begin posting like little shorts on TikTok as well as utilize YouTube shorts. I think shorts are a great way to kind of just reach out to a community. Maybe do a big YouTube channel video every single Friday and then for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like those days, like the rest of the week, I can just have like a short, like one minute update on like, hey, this is the video I'm doing. I'm gonna be working my forearm or like, hey, let me try and do this TikTok challenge. Um, just, you know, spice things up. 
After this idea in May, I'm going to create a Redux series and start redoing some of the old challenges that I've done with my actual analytics and a little bit uh, longer. Since I used to only do them for 30 days, I'm doing now stuff for 60 days so I can actually get, you know, some progress in. So things like the grip, uh, when I was practicing my grip strength, just, uh, 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 I have all that equipment still. And, you know, honestly, the video, it's done good view wise, but... It kind of sucks. Um, so hopefully I'm going to take that video, redo it, make it all nice, shiny, kind of have a caloric counter so I can see how many I'm actually doing. It's going to be great. Next up in June is I'll be creating a fifth website exclusive video um, as well as script and two call for actions. Make sure that that's in each video. Have more of a, like an outline for each of my scripts that I'm writing because right now I just do it free form. My only goal is to hit like 1,000, uh, 1, 1,200 characters. I'm going to hopefully get more, get longer videos, remove that restrictions um, and just create better content overall. And those call for actions will get people to subscribe. Like the video, I know they're annoying, but what I eventually want to do is hopefully have this channel start making a little bit of money. Not so I can take that because obviously I'm, you know, I'm a software developer. I make it decent enough income, but I want to be able to take whatever money I make from this channel and just do some stupid challenges with it. You know, like if I get like $200, I'm going to be like, okay, so there's this, or if I get like $500, I'm like, oh, there's this toothbrush that's $500. That's like AI driven or whatever. Like, is this actually worth $500? I try looking up online, there's no reviews on it because no one wants to spend $500 on a toothbrush. But hey, if I get the YouTube analytics, I'll totally waste that money. <laughs> I'll waste the money on it like a crappy anything. So yeah, the goal is hopefully start generating just a little enough income so that way I can start spending more and more money on some crazy or weirder products and hopefully talk about if they're worthwhile or not. You know, and then I can spend money on like more healthy foods, try and do like challenges based on like diets and stuff. I just want to try and improve these videos. And unfortunately, that does cost money. Not saying that I'm hurting or anything like that. Like, I'll never start, like, I, I would never say never. But I, would, I wouldn't I would start a Patreon anytime soon or anything like that. Like, I'm doing fine. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm a developer. My wife is in grad school. Once she graduates, things are going to be excellent. So, yeah, everything's fine. Next up... After that is I want to have an updated channel trailer. I'm still using the YouTube trailer that I created when I first started where I'm like, Hello guys, my name is Jack J J J Jenkins and this is a channel on video games. You know, hopefully I can redo that. Nice big 4K videos. Just have everything look good. Next up is I want to create a new video YouTube series. I have fitness game reviews. I have app reviews. Um, I have product reviews. But I want to do something more. Maybe like diet time or something like that. Like show off losing weight. Who knows? Next up in August is I want to have a first video essay done. I've been th having a, an idea of a video essay in my head. I thought it'd be cool to be like, hey, maybe I can post like something like a two hour long video discussing like a specific topic in depth. Would I want to watch it? Probably not, but it'll be fun. September, I want to create a Reddit, Facebook, and other social media sites to help improve conversion. So right now, I only have YouTube. I post my videos on YouTube to Twitter or X. I forgot they changed the name of it. Um, but that's it. Like Those are the two things. I have X and YouTube. So I'll start branching out, start using these other social media sites, you know, just to see, hey, are these worthwhile? October, I want to begin adding captions to YouTube channel videos. This is another thing that was requested that I haven't done just because it does take some time. Uh, my goal, uh, what I used to do back when I had an old YouTube channel is I would walk on like a treadmill while typing out my video captions. Uh, so maybe I'll do that again, you know, lose some weight and type out new videos. After that is I want to hire someone to create some eye-catching YouTube thumbnails. Right now, my YouTube thumbnail game sucks. I just take a screenshot of the video, throw some text over it, and put it out there. And it's no wonder people don't click on it. <laughs> they look, it looks boring as heck. So hopefully I can hire someone out by this time to get someone to create some nice YouTube channels. The YouTube channel thumbnails. Pardon? 
Lastly, in December, as I want to reach 1,000 subscribers and reach 10,000 or reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and reach 100 subscribers on X. And obviously, I don't have any of the other social media sites, so I'm not too sure what they should be. One thing that I wanted to do with this channel is, like I said, get it to a point where I am making money so that I can spend it on some dumb products or, you know, finance some, um, like just finance some video ideas. And the goal is to reach a thousand subscribers. Right now I'm at 470. I think by taking more of an initi initiative and like focusing more on the YouTube channel, I can easily grow to a thousand. And again, thank you so much for subscribing right now. You don't know how much it means to me. Like, I know these videos aren't that good. <laughs> Trust me, I watch a lot of YouTube channel. I'm like, man, I wish I could do videos like that. But I just don't have the time between work. And I used to be in school. I used to do full-time work, full-time school, and try and do these YouTube channels. Now that I'm like a year out of graduation, or yeah, I graduated the last two years, two years, no, it's been a year. Yeah, well, just over a year. Now that I graduated just over a year ago, um, I think it's time to start kicking in, getting in that college energy back and start working more and more on these videos. Right now, I turn, I'm 30 years old, so I'm a little bit older than I think most people are. I just looked up Matt Pat since he retired. He's 37, so people who are like seven years older than me, who, by the way, look way younger than I do, <laughs> Take care of yourself, kids. But yeah, people who are older than me are already at the point where they're retiring. So <laughs> it'll be interesting. It's going to be a fun year. Hopefully work on this YouTube channel. Start improving my life more. I want to finally be able to accomplish every single one of my New Year's goals. And I'm going to be doing that by focusing on this YouTube channel, losing weight, and getting healthy. I know I say that every single year. But, you know, the thing with turning 30 is... You, you start realizing that life is super short. Like I'm halfway to 60, which, you know, I'm halfway to being able to retire in five years. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna work till I'm dead. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any ideas on any videos you want me to do, please, please, please leave them in the comments below. I will pretty much do every single idea. Every idea I get from people, I write them down in a list. I have the list on my computer. And some of the challenges, like eat 10 of fruits and vegetables per day, are really hard. <laughs> I'm a fat dude who loves his food, deep fried food. Oh, God. Um, but, yeah. If you have video ideas, just let me know. I'll try and do them. This year, I think I'm having a full month where I just focus on user ideas. I have another full month where I focus on just like the cheap budget fitness games. I just have all these little things going on um, that you guys' input will help improve this channel. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you again so much, so much for sticking through. Again, I know this is bad, I'm rambling, but we can improve, though this whole point of this channel is improving, right? So we can all improve together. <laughs>